What exactly is culture? Ishmael asked at last. As the word is commonly used, not in a special sense, we are giving it for the purposes of these conversations. It seemed like a hell of a question to ask someone sitting in a carnival sideshow tent, but I did my best to give it some thought. I would say it's the sum total of everything that makes a people a people, he nodded. And how does that sum total come into existence? I'm not sure what you're getting at. It comes into existence by people living. Yes, but sparrows live, and they don't have a culture. Okay, I see what you mean. It's an accumulation. The sum total is an accumulation. What you're not telling me is how the accumulation comes into being. Oh, I see. Okay. The accumulation is the sum total that is passed from one generation to the next. It comes into being when when a species attains a certain order of intelligence. The members of one generation begins to pass along information and techniques to the next. The next generation takes this accumulation, adds its own discoveries and refinements, and passes the total on to the next. And this accumulation is what is called culture. Yes, I would say so. It's the sum total of what's passed along, of course. Not just information and techniques. It's beliefs, assumptions, theories, customs, legends, songs, stories, dances, jokes. Superstitions, prejudice, taste, attitudes, everything. That's right. Old enough, the order of intelligence needed for the accumulation to begin is not terribly high. Chimpanzees in the wild are already passing along tool-making and tool-using behaviors to their young. I see that this surprises you. No, well, I guess I'm surprised that it's such chimpanzees. Instead of gorillas? That's right. Ishmael frowned. To tell the truth, I have deliberately avoided all field studies of gorilla life. It is a sub subject I find I do not care to explore. I nodded, feeling stupid. In any case, if chimpanzees have already begun to accumulate knowledge about what works well for chimpanzees, when do you suppose people began to accumulate knowledge about what works well for people? But I have to assume it began when people began. Your paleoanthropologist will agree. Human culture began with human life, which is to say with human habits. The people who were human, whom were habits passed along to their children all they learned. And as each generation contributed its might, there was an accumulation of this knowledge. And who were the heirs to this accumulation? Homo erectus? That's right. And the people who were Homo erectus passed along this accumulation generation after generation, each adding its might to the whole. And who were the heirs to this accumulation? Homo sapiens? Of course! And the heirs of Homo sapiens were the people of Homo sapiens sapiens, who passed along this accumulation generation after generation each adding its mind to the whole. And who were the heirs to this accumulation?